fuck is going on? Dude. Oh, shit. The dramatic armed siege of a TV station in Ecuador is just the latest symptom of a state in chaos. Videos showing the kidnapping of police and prison guards, attacks on public buildings, and heavily armed criminals roaming the streets have been circulating on social media. Nearly two dozen gangs have now been designated terrorist groups by the government, and a nationwide curfew is in place. Y esto es un cambio en las reglas de enfrentamiento. Armamento letal, por cierto, que será empleado y está siendo empleado en contra de los grupos que han sido identificados como terroristas. So how has one of the most peaceful countries in Latin America become one of the most violent? Sharing borders with South America's top two cocaine-producing countries, Colombia and Peru, Ecuador is ideally placed for drug traffickers wanting to ship cocaine to the US and Europe. And, as a major exporter of bananas, coffee and cocoa, the nation's large international ports are the perfect base for global drug smuggling operations. Then came the pandemic, which battered the economy and allowed Mexican and Colombian cartels to recruit desperate locals into their ranks. Since 2016, Ecuador's homicide rate has risen by almost 500%. The nation's now overcrowded prisons are full of cartel members who wage a deadly war on each other while behind bars, killing hundreds in the process. The prisons have become completely dysfunctional, with prisoners routinely having access to heavy weapons, including assault rifles and grenades. Ecuador's security forces have been repeatedly forced to launch huge armed raids into the prisons to rescue guards and restore order. Government officials have suggested that a recent plan to build two new high-security prisons for gang leaders has led to the latest surge of violence. As disorder has spread, and following the assassination of several politicians, Ecuador's government has declared war on the cartels. The armed takeover of a TV station appears to be a brazen response to this declaration of war. With the gang that raided the TV station threatening to execute anyone found on the streets after 11pm, there are now fears that this escalation will lead to a fresh wave of violence and chaos across Ecuador.